In this video, there are some scenes of animal abuse that may shock you. The dirty truth of salmon farming in Britain, around the world actually, has got to be one of the best kept secrets of the animal farming industry. And it's not just the farmed salmon that are affected by this, it's the wild salmon as well. So if you choose that because you think you're getting something better or doing something better, you need to think again. Just how bad salmon farming is, we're going to show you now. We took a closer look at salmon farming, how it's being conducted, and the effect it has on the environment. The investigation showed disease, high rates of mortality, 25% of all fish die before they're harvested, pollution, cross-contamination, and even the use of poison. And you can't avoid this. If you buy farmed salmon, this is the reality. It doesn't matter who you buy it from. The inherent problem of salmon farming is the same as for all animal industrial farming. The sheer number of creatures being held in small spaces. In this case, nets in the seas and the locks of Scotland. These nets are overfilled with tens of thousands of fish compressed into one place within which they can barely move. And it allows for disease and infection to spread rapidly. Not just amongst themselves, but into wild fish as well. Perhaps the worst of these is sea lice. They embed themselves under the skin of the fish and often just can't be completely removed. They literally eat the fish alive while they're in the net and before you eat them. Sea lice are parasites. They breed quickly in these cramped conditions and they pose a major hazard for the young, wild, migrating salmon that swim past the nets. We found seriously sick and dead fish at every salmon farm we visited. The dead fish can stay at the bottom of the nets for days or weeks. And they're all in the pens together, the dead, the dying, and the soon-to-be-dead fish. In an attempt to deal with the sea lice, these salmon farmers are using insecticides, chemical treatments. They're trying to poison the sea lice, but they're poisoning the surrounding area at the same time, crabs and even otters. And it's not just the living conditions of these fish that are bad. Look at the casual violence with the way they're treated when nobody's looking. So there it is. That's the truth of salmon farming. And if you like the look of that, then carry on and buy the stuff from the people that we're about to put up on the screen now.